Hello and good morning and a warm welcome to your decoding of the ET Wealth newspaper. Today the article that we are going to decode is on page number 10. It's on the financial planning page and it's called Money Milestones in Mid-30s. This is an article by Uma Sashikant. And Uma Sashikant is the Chairperson Center for Investment Education and Learning. In this she is talking about Growing up in the mid-30s is to find one's personal finance character. And today to decode this article, I have a very dear friend, my favorite, Sheetal Guru, our Women on Wealth core team member. First she was a student. She came to us in 2014 with debt, living paycheck to paycheck, not knowing how to manage her money. And today she is a team member. Yeah. So about 8 years at Women on Wealth, she's been here and has rocked her money life. She's in her late 30s. So she's 38 and I'm 37. Yeah, almost. We are almost both the same age in our late 30s and having rocked our money life. So today I'm going to bring her in and together we're going to decode this article. And today I'll bring in a new flavor to this decoding. I'm going to ask she tells some questions and she's going to answer them and then we will see where we are going from there what are you learning in the meanwhile so yeah keep interacting keep putting in the chat we are both going to read probably answer together let's see where we can go from here hi Sheetal hey Neelu Namita Heenal Guru Sahiba yes Sheetal Gurung is really amazing absolutely Guru Sahiba I so agree with you. I so agree. Sheetal adding you in. Jump in. Hi Mukta. Good morning. Sheetal, can you find, find the request? Hi Vina. Okay, she's here. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi Sheetal. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Well, I feel like I'm on wake up women or something. <laughs> okay, I can't hear you really well. What's up? Okay. Mm, let uh, me try. How is it now? No, I think it's very low for me. Is it just low for me or for everyone? Stuti, Veena, everybody, can you guys hear me? Wait. Let uh, me change. One can you guys hear Sheetal? I'm just wondering, Sheetal. You can hear Kaveri. Low for okay. us. Okay. How, how, Veena, it's low how is it now? How is it now? Wait. <laughs> Prerna is saying women it. on wealth ke maharati. Nilu, yeah, Nilu. For Nilu also it's low. Okay, Kaveri okay, also how, it's low. Low how is from Shita. Low. Is, is it better now? Very I mean, low. Like I, got, uh, I don't know because I got my earphones on. Let me try this one second. Uh, now is it any better? Yeah, very low, but still I think yeah we we we'll may do with it. Yeah, you, yeah. It's it's better now. It's getting better. Yeah, I think, I think so. Better, I think so. <laughs> with every better, it's getting better, guys. Okay. Yeah, but it's really low. I don't know why your phone is the iPhone, okay now? and I'm like, yeah, I got okay. the earphones now. Yeah. Yeah, no. Do, do you think you can, can join again, Sheetal? Okay, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you have to... yeah, because it's very low. Let's try. Very, Let's very low. Let's try. Let's try. Let's. Yes, go ahead. And meanwhile, I can chill with my people. Hi, Kavni, Diksha, Vandini. Good morning. Yeah, it's coming and going. I know, Veena. Let's see. Kinal, you could hear? Yes, so much love to both of us. Thank you, Ka. Very back at you. Loads of it. Right back. So, you know, I want to say this when I was reading this article and each thing which is written in this article, like it takes some time to see that small amounts add up. You know, I have a couple of family members, a couple of friends who keep telling me, Hamna bada haat marenge. Hamna seedha kuch bada hi karenge. And I'm like, buddy, you look seedha chakka lagane ki koshish kar rahe ho. Test match bhi nahi khel rahe ho. 
हाउ यू एक्सपेक्टिंग कि वो जब छक्के वाली बॉल आएगी तो तुमसे लग जाएगी एंड दे टेल मी नहीं यू यू आर अ टेस्ट मैच प्लेयर यू नो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू एंड यू नो आई कैन रियली सी दिस यू नो दीज फैमिली मेंबर्स दीज फ्रेंड्स अराउंड मी एंड एग्जैक्टली इज हाउ आई फील फॉर दैम दैट नो you know just thinking big and waiting to make that big happen not something we got to play the test match we got to collect those small amounts otherwise ain't happening ain't happening at all so yeah let's let's hear from sheetal if she is somebody who collects small amounts that's what we'll begin the conversation from hi sheetal hi let's try this now how is it now Okay, as as good as it can be. This is exactly the repeat really? of what it was. Okay. But yeah. Anyway, yes. anyway, let let's move. So Sheetal, you you joined yes. Women on Wealth in 2014. First as a student, then you became a community member, then you became a community yeah. leader, then you became a team member, then you became a core team member. Today, everybody yeah. recognizes you as the CEO of Women on Wealth. So uh, I mean, you know. looking at the journey or yeah, the distance you've traveled yes you know this is the growth trajectory at women on wealth but besides this you know coming back to the point i was just making are you somebody who's collected small amounts of money sheetal yes of course uh, you know i had not um, i my my journey of saving money collecting money accumulation you know accumulation was a struggle and then it was only after working for 10 years in a decent corporate job and then hitting my 30s post 30s is when i started collecting money and uh, that's also because i discovered women or i don't i don't know how, where i would have been otherwise but yes i started late in comparison to you know where i could have begun i started pretty late so 31 32 is when i uh, started and everybody who is here would say this oh i wish i knew this earlier i wish i had started earlier and i have been on the same journey as they are on or they have been in yeah wow wow got it got it so you started at 31 32 you really wish you started earlier you have collected small amounts of money and yes. you just spoke about you know um some regret yeah regret here you you didn't start early are there are there more regrets that you have around your money life Yes um and I think I saw this in the article also you know where a lot of people don't have clarity on long term goals um and it was the same for me um I didn't have people around me who would talk to me about goals that was one thing and I th- and when I look back now and having this uh, understanding now um I can clearly see why I wasn't saving money because I really did not have a clear goal right and to everybody who's struggling to save money uh whatever your age may be we then you probably need to look at you know do i even know why i want to do it because it begins from so not having that clarity not having that long term view um is a regret it's like and i often laugh laugh at this thing that um you know many many years ago when i was early on in my career then a friend of mine had recommended that you should start investing in ppf and then i told myself who would lock her money for 15 years you know right. as if you know the so that's also one of the biggest reasons had i started that then things would have been different is how i see i think my discipline would have gotten built i would have seen money getting accumulated that would have definitely inspired me to do more uh i would have been investing i would have recognized myself as an investor somebody who can do who can build from small but that is re- really not listening to that advice is a regret that i have uh because uh, you know we because 15 years later i definitely look back and say i should have listened to that advice you know so it's really funny you know the irony is that we all look at the future we all want things in the future we want to have bigger things in the future but something that that you got to start earlier to have that future happen to that we're like no why lock my money for 15 years you know so so that's one of the regrets that i have right really not taking that advice not getting started yeah wow <laughs> i i so connect with you you know i started investing at 21 and i lost all my money 
<laughs> in those years 21 to 23 i was only losing money because i was investing without understanding and yeah that's my regret yeah and you know your regret is not listening to good advice not um, not being able to think for the long term yeah uh, not yeah. starting early absolutely and i and i have also shared this in the past that you know another advice i had gotten when i got my first job the recruiter of all the people the recruiter was telling me to sheetal you go and you save money and put your first 50000 together you know when then buy a scooty of course i didn't know how to ride a scooty so so i maybe that goal did not connect with me but had i even looked connected with the vision of of having 50000 rupees um you know i really did not listen to that advice as well it took me 10 years uh, and for the 10 years i worked where i earned lakhs i i never priyanka never ever saw a lakh one lakh in my bank account can you imagine that that's also another regret so never people told me but i did not listen to the advice so the discipline is one thing i regret not developing early in life you know so yeah that's another regret <laughs> and and i can i can really you know um say this you know uh, with pride and um, and in comparison you know i i started earning in lakhs very late in life yeah mm. i'm 37 only only in my late 20s early 30s do i remember that i started earning in lakhs but yeah. you know even when i was making 500 rupees pocket money i had a lakh hmm yeah right even when i was making just 20000 rupees per month i had a lakh so yeah i can just so connect when you are saying you can earn in lakhs and not have 1 lakh you can earn in thousands and have a lakh yeah it's so true yeah <laughs> it's just those habits and yeah thinking for the long term like you said yeah hmm right like i think i think thanks to my dad i i never thought just of immediate gratification even till today you know i struggle i struggle <laughs> when it comes to just uh, spending money for immediate gratification so yeah ha ah, my goodness okay got it so well guys you know i'm asking some of the questions which are right here in this article okay to see how sheetal and i have navigated our life very different Yeah. Past, but if you look at us in the present, very similar money life when it comes to accomplishments and yeah, more. So, so Sheetal, did you take an exotic holiday, a much-awaited holiday in these years, and did you regret over spending there? Um, actually, my exotic holiday only came the possibility of even having vacations. uh that only came after i started accumulating money before because before that i really didn't have money right and then um, i mean even a weekend getaway with colleagues i would see that as such a huge task like oh my god 3000 rupees i have to take out for this weekend trip do i have the money and even and for somebody who's earning 30 40000 that shouldn't be a big deal at once in a while right uh, so actually the yeah exotic holiday any sort of holidays uh only happened post i started working my uh, working on my money like before that no i you know uh, i remember applying for passport and then now when i look back i see why i didn't work hard enough to get that passport because for me what will i do even if i get the passport it will just sit in the cupboard i couldn't really think of traveling you know uh yeah The, it it only happened once i started working on my money life and you know travel became possible and i went experienced it in life and i look forward to more of it in the coming decade got it got it so no exotic holiday before you collect money only an exotic holiday after you collected money and what was that kidal where was that holiday what did you do how much money did you collect how much money did you spend Yes, I started to take small trips. You know, started with uh, a very popular Goa, and that was the first time I actually experienced that. Oh, what money can make possible for me? I went out with my sisters. Otherwise, you know, accumulating money and then spending on a trip uh, was wasn't an idea I, I 
I, you know, it wasn't my kind of life because I didn't see it. I didn't dream it actually. Uh, but yes, after I started working on the money live, I started to take, take small travel, then, you know, going to, uh, I went to Kochi, then I took a flight to Thailand, uh, you know, then my biggest expense was when I had to, when I dreamt of going to Japan, a lot of people know that. So I accumulated money. Um, there was this desire to just spend on my credit card, even if I was a money gym student uh, at that point. But that impulsive me is still me, right? So it's still here, right here, even till, till today. But um, yeah, uh, so Japan trip was one lavish holiday I, I gave to myself for which I think I waited about two years, accumulated money. I kept account of how, by how, what percentage is my money growing. And that's when that happened in 2019. And that gave me this big um, boost that, okay, if I plan, then such expensive trips is also possible. Otherwise, uh, didn't see possible, you know. So it's only post 35 that I started to uh, experience this. And I look forward to more of that happening, you know. Yeah. Got it. So can we say three, four years of collecting money rigorously, uh, led to this successful Japan trip, big trip? Yes, yes. And not just Japan, I also clubbed, uh, you know, Singapore, Hong Kong and all of that. I'm very greedy when it comes to traveling that way. So I want to, you know, do more. Um, and uh, yes, it did require that I say no to immediate gratification. Um, also not putting myself in the pit of being in debt just so I could travel. So just a little wait. Um, and then uh, accumulating and then going and um, spending that money. Um, yeah. Got it. Got it. So Japan, yeah. Singapore, Hong Kong. Yeah. yeah. These <laughs> All three of that. places, yes. no immediate gratification is the lesson. And yeah. collect money and collect it for years and don't get into debt for it. Yes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Let's see what all our people are saying. Okay, Kaveri is saying, whether I see these 15-year lock-in period and 7 or 10-year long-term goals, I look and see that if I had started in tiny bits 10 or 15 years ago, I could have been so set by now. So now at the yeah. age of 46 and 47 years, I am starting. No point crying over spilt milk. Yeah. <laughs> Best time to start building knowledgeable investments is now. Got it, got it. Train is creating saving is very important step in building wealth. Bhumika is saying, I'm also starting late, Kaveri. What you're saying is so assuring, absolutely. Guru Saiba is saying, I think you're quite disciplined now, Sheetal. Yeah. Yes. I <laughs> wish I had met you guys when I started working. Okay, got that, Prerna. Okay. Kaveri is saying, we all feel this. My Sheetal, my Priyanka, you guys are welcome. Okay, we feel you. Got it. Got it. Thank you, guys. Real change only ever really happens with consistent effort, not with big bang. Yeah. Absolutely. Boon boon se sagar bharta hai. So, Sheetal, Guru Saiba is asking, so how wisely do you use your credit cards, Sheetal? Because there are some great schemes that we can use. So go ahead, my master. <laughs> so uh, I think when it comes to credit cards so I own two credit cards at least even even now I own two credit cards and um, one of the things is to be really uh, aware of the cycles like I know that one credit card gives me more points than the others uh, and it has a, a certain clause how many charges you have to make of what amount so I will categorize that the uh, charges which are larger than thousand bucks and uh, those I will put on my credit card which gives me thousand bonus points every month if I meet those right so so being aware of what rewards I will collect uh, number two is um, you know being aware of the cycle is good that helps us leverage is it better so what is the date when the bill generates by what day you need to pay it off. So just being aware of these two days also helps me a lot to really manage uh, my expenses and leverage the credit card in a way that um, 
and of course we know that as uh, money gymers one of the discipline we develop is to be able to pay off whatever is the outstanding amount um, you know by the due date so these are a couple of things and yes um, in the recent times i've also started to explore what are the benefits can i get i keep checking um, uh, can i get 10 20% off so all of those discounts i keep an eye out for now it is i feel at times a little tedious you know but um, is it going to be worth it you would be the best judge of that but these are some things i i do to manage my uh, expenses on the card and leverage the benefits that the cards provide yeah got it got it yeah for somebody like me who doesn't use the credit card at all i'm getting a lot of tips now thank you thank you so much vandani is saying very inspiring sheetal from no vacations to japan within 2 3 years really shows what making goals and taking action do got it vandani thank you, thank you yes. for getting inspired and thanks sheetal for sharing this okay Guru Sahib, I think because my husband just got yeah. one credit card, he said that there are travel points and luxury lounge that we can access and save money. Of course, absolutely. When we pay timely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Those benefits are there. So I think one is to also, uh, if we have a credit card, then be aware of what benefits it give us. So, uh, and then yeah, timely we can use utilize those benefits, right? Mm. Got it. Got it, Chital. So. Quick, okay. Quick questions for everybody and Sheetal. Okay, yes or no is the answer. So Sheetal, have you achieved the discipline to save at thirty-eight? Yes. Okay. Everybody keep answering. Okay. Anybody who says no, you know what to do then. Second, Sheetal, is there surplus in your bank before your next income arises? Yes. Or arrives? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So people, the second question is. Is there a surplus in the bank before your next income arrives? Yeah, I mean, so getting out of paycheck to paycheck was one of the first goals, right? Uh, you know, from waiting for a paycheck to it's okay when the paycheck arrives. That's a different kind of a high. I think we all get as uh, people who manage to get there. Got it. Got it. Awesome. So, Shital, is is your money being invested? Absolutely, yes. Okay, guys, is your money being invested, and that to invest in knowledgeably? Chital, are your investment choices sensible and aligned to the need to build wealth? Yes, all my uh, selection of investments, the stocks I invest in, uh, have been done through the study that we do at Women on Wealth. So yes, I have a say in what I am investing in. Yes. Got it, got it. I like what Bhumika is creating with you. She's saying, "I'm getting there with you, Shital. I'm coming." Absolutely, yes. So many yeses from a lot of our women, our money dreamers. So, Shital, last question before we leave. Yeah. Um, what would you say are your goals for forties? Now that we are both entering the forties together, I know we both will get older together. Um, mm -hmm. what are your goals for your forties? uh for my 40s one is um, definitely buying a house so um, now i feel i'm ready now i see it fitting my vision so i'm ready for it so buying a house and then being able to pay off that loan within 10 years can i do that now that's the challenge that i want to take on uh definitely uh travel more in my 40s that's one thing um and build on the on the freedom that i'm getting of uh working from anywhere i do want to keep working so uh, just just manage continue to manage my expenses continue to build on this vision of leading a comfortable life which money provides um and then uh, just create a life where i can be in different places and work and continue to contribute so these are my goals got it sheetal thank you so much everybody please start typing whether you are in your 30s you're in your 20s 40s 50s what are your goals what are you looking for next and how can sheetal and i support you so start typing okay start typing because we are both right here we are both right and left hand for each other or for women on wealth if i could say okay kaveri is saying 
my goals for 50 to travel to consolidate my investments and live a relaxed life okay got it yes i think you know what i would like to take from your goals is yeah relaxing yeah really really relaxing i think yeah that's yes. really connecting with me kaveri I have amazing okay. ideas on how we can both go, relax, you know, have fun. <laughs> yes, Sheetal. Goa is the next destination. We'd already talked about it. Yes. Okay, what, what about, about others? others, guys? Quickly, just one-liners, okay? Don't be, yeah. don't write long stuff. Just one-liner. What are your goals? How can we support yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. I'm getting so many ideas of what my goals could be and how I don't want to make them my goals. Gursaiba, travel certainly is a goal. Got it. <laughs> Kaviri is saying, I'm already packing my jo my bags to join you both in Goa. Okay. Primoy to study further for PG and travel. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, one of my, one of my dreams was to study abroad. I just wonder if I can pick that up again in my life. Why not, Priyanka? <laughs> I will come think... to see you. Off. Sure. Uh, sorry, Shita. No, just go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Vanni is saying, starting my journey into the 50s, I want to have a social cause for retirement. Got it. Nikita, travel, time for myself. Kaveri is saying, of course you can. Yeah, Kaveri, I can. I can. And so can you, and so can Sheetal, and each one of us here. On this note, closing the live, Sheetal, thank you for coming in, participating. You must know you yes. are the, your pride, your women on wealth pride, and a woman I really look up to here at Women on Wealth. Thank you. Thank you for bringing yourself in every day, supporting. And um, yeah, and like never saying, you know, I give up. You inspire. You persist. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much this for the closing the live, guys. Yes. Loads of love. Take charge and keep coming back. And remember, if Sheetal can, so can you. Go for yes. it. Yes, Kaveri. Pride and joy of women on wealth. Sheetal Guru. Loads Thank of love. You. Take charge. Stay safe. Bye bye.